Hi guys, this is Techno Criticize and today we are going to show you how to install more than one ROM on your single device. I am going to use the Red MI1S but you can use this process in Nexus 5, Nexus 4, Mojo E and many more devices. So let's get started but please remember you need to download the things which are in the description below. So as of now I am having Red MI1S and we are going to install the Munchy ROM in this device. So let me go into the settings to show you on which Android I am on right now. About phone and as you can see I am on 6.0.1 which is Android Marshmallow and CM13. Yes, I am on Cyanogen Mod 13. And we are going to install the Multi ROM on Cyanogen Mod 13. So we will go into the play store and we will now click on google play to search the name of the app and we will search multi roam the spelling is m u l t i r o m and we will hit enter let it search and as we can see multi roam manager the first app in the list is the app we need to download and this is the icon of the multi roam manager we will click on install and accept the terms and conditions After the installation and the download process has been done, we will click on open to open the app. Now this is the window for root permission access. We will click on allow to allow the root access and this is necessary in this process. Now it's saying downloading updates metadata. Let it update and download the things. After that, we can see multi room version 3 to A recovery and kernel. I will click on multi room recovery and uncheck the kernel because I have two reasons. First reason is this kernel is for lollipop and I am having marshmallow. Second thing, even if you are having the lollipop, don't install this kernel, it's having some issues as sometimes your camera doesn't work and every time your wi-fi doesn't get on so we will use god's kernel and the link of the development will be in the description below so now we will click on install this window is only for marshmallow it's asking for the permissions we will click on allow and after the installation we will get a window for reboot swing to recovery as we can see we are getting a re uh, message reboot into recovery to complete the process after the device rebooted into the recovery mode we can see some changes a major change we can see is the name here it says multi room twrp then another change we can see is when we go in advanced, we can see a new option called multi roam. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so now I will tell you how to use the multi roam. First, we are having the CM13 on this device right now as the present room. Now we will install the secondary room. Let's go to advanced multi roam. Then we can see option. Add room. Choose room type and write on multi room installer. We will choose and write which is already selected. Then in internal memory. Yeah, we can do a thing more. We can install the room on the external SD card or in the USB via USB OTG. And we can boot the room from external sd card or from usb otg but right now i will install the rom on internal memory only so i will click on next then there are three options zip backup adb side load we will click on zip file 
then I'm having all my files in my external SD card. Let's find the zip. Let's flash the Moki room. The link for the Moki room will be in the description. Let's flash. The zip file will flash and I am pausing the video. I will resume the video after the flash process has been completed. After the flashing process, we can see that it says ROM installed successfully. Now it says reboot system, but we will not reboot into system. We need to do a thing. This is the home screen of TWRP. Means everything I will do from here will be affected on my system 1. That means if I inst go to install and then let me find my folder. Yeah, it's here. It's the God's Chronicle. GK Money MMLP KK1 is the God's Chronicle. I will flash it. Actually, the kernel is important because the kernel helps us to boot from system 1 to system 2. And we only need this this kernel on the system one. Now, you may have a question. The question might be, if the update comes to system two, how will you install that? Just download the that update and then again go to advanced multi room list room. Then you will find your secondary room. Click on that secondary room, then click on flash zip. From here, you can flash the update. Right now, I'm flashing the Google Apps, the GF package. And while using, you will see using MK5 G1.1 Armani. That means it's using the other system partition not your basic or the first system partition it has done so let's now reboot to system it's showing the me logo and first click on cancel you can see this window. This is like a group of mobiles. Misc, external, internal. From here you need to choose the ROM you want to boot. This is the internal section. In the external you can boot from USB drives. USB drives means the USB OTG. And in the MISC you can you have some specific options like copy log to SD. Reboot, reboot to recovery, reboot to bootloader shutdown, and some color changes. And we have a pretty tough game also when you click the multi room logo here. The game is not that easy, but still, that's just for time pass. We will click on internal. This is the uh, primary room which is named as internal and there is a secondary room which we installed right now let's click on it it says tap again to boot the system we will tap it again it says booting it's booting now The system is going to start now.
okay so we can see the Moki welcome screen let's set it up it says in the you know we want English 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 Canada cool English India next My Wi Fi is not working right now, so let's skip it. I will set the device and then we'll show you. After all setting up, it shows Moki, back button, and the start button. Now let's click on start. So we have successfully booted into the Moki room. We got the welcome, got it. Let's check the Android version. Please. Yeah. Let me reduce the brightness. About phone, it's saying 5.1.1, which is lollipop. And saying Moki version MK fifty one point one. And saying Moki open source, yeah. Now in my previous video, I dual booted uh, MI US seven with CM twelve point one, which uh, was well, always CM thirteen, which was unofficial, but still. In that we got an app called System Changer, but now here, if you want to switch the app, we don't have any app. We just need to reboot our device. Now again we have this screen this is called the multi-room screen now we will just click on internal double tap on it and it will say okay so the device will start booting now and we can see the boot animation of system one let the device boot This will not take that long. Booting, booting, booting. Yeah, so we have booted again in CM13 and we will go again in the settings to tell you that we are on season cm13 and marshmallow which is 6.0.1 about device and yes we have successfully booted into the primary room which was cm13